This is Chloe Aceo from La Venture Winery in Paso Robles. Um, I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our three main cuvées and a little bit about the story behind La Venture. Uh, we are originally from France. My family owned a few chateaus in Bordeaux. My father was making wine for 17 years over there, but got tired of the restrictions and regulations that come with making wine in Bordeaux. Um, and so my parents started to think of different areas um, where they could move, start this new adventure, which hence comes the name L'Aventure. After considering South America, South Africa, um, they finally decided on California. Uh, and so in 1998, uh, with the three children, me included, I was the youngest, uh, we moved to California where at first Napa Valley was the first choice but uh, my parents didn't find anything they were looking for and so they fell in love instead with Paso Robles which at the time was brand new, there wasn't many wineries, uh, not as up and coming as it is today where we have over 400 wineries. Uh, but uh, my parents, especially my father, after visiting a few different properties in the area, he truly fell in love with what is today L'Aventure. Uh, so we are on the west side of Paso Robles, um, very close to the ocean. What makes our property I would say uh, special and unique is the fact that we have lots of different rolling hills uh, for in terms of planting was a big part in my dad's philosophy to get as many different exposures, different styles for each block that he would plant. Um, on top of that, we realized when we moved that there was so much limestone on the vineyard, covered in limestone actually, um, so we have siliceous and calcareous type of limestone. Um, and third, the location, since we are on the west side, we're very close to the ocean, and that actually gives us a huge advantage where even though during the day it's very hot, um, and a lot of people think Paso Robles is hot and that's it. But because we're so close to the ocean, we actually have this thermic shock between day and night where it can drop 40 degrees Fahrenheit um, from daytime to nighttime, which allows us to have um, grapes with nice complexity, nice acidity, and allows us to actually make wines that are elegant um, and not just bodybuilding style wines. So that is, in a nutshell, the story behind L'Aventure. And we started it in 1998, where at that time we did our first ever vintage and our first ever wine of the Optimus. And um, Optimus, today, we are actually celebrating our 20th anniversary of the Optimus with a 2018 vintage. So the Optimus started out as our signature blend. Um, it used to be our flagship wine, even though it was with 100% purchase fruit. But as we became more and more estate, uh, and we actually became 100% estate with all our wines in 2008, um, the Optimus truly took on a different role for us. It's more the introduction to our lineup. Um, it is best represents our idea that Syrah and Cabernet can go very well together, but it's a wine that you can enjoy sooner. So it's what I like to call our patient wine, uh, but it's also, like I said, the introduction. When you don't know us, it's a great way to get to know us because it truly represents our philosophy. The 18 vintage, again, is quite special since it is the 20th anniversary. A uh, little bit of a different label. Uh, most of all, all our labels are classic uh, cream with our logo, but in this case, we wanted to make something a little more special to really represent that 20th anniversary. Um, then we have our two high-end uh, main wines and second is usually the Côte de Côte that I showcase. Côte de Côte, it's not so much a crazy blend, it's a pretty traditional Rome style blend. Um, my dad has always had a love for Chateau Neuf du Pape, as do I, and this is really truly our representation of Chateau Neuf du Pape. So what I mean by that is it's usually Grenache driven, it's our top Rome fruit from the vineyard, um, and you will see it's more than just fruit forward, it's very pleasurable, it's very seductive of a wine. Um, and since the 2015 vintage, we have actually included some clay and cement in the aging process, which um, has truly fine-tuned the blend, uh, making it, I think today, the perfect coat-to-coat. 
And lastly, we have the Estate Cuvée. Estate Cuvée is our flagship. It's the king of the vineyard, in a sense. Uh, we're back to that same crazy blend as the Optimus, so Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, Petit Verdot, but it's the super Optimus. It's the cherry picking of our grapes. Only the best goes into the Estate Cuvée. Only the best barrels goes into the Estate Cuvée. In terms of complexity, depth, length, uh, texture, it's truly a step above from the Optimus. Um, it's a wine that can definitely age um, and today it is the wine that main reason why my father decided to leave Baldo. This is why we came to Paso to make uh, this type of Paso blend, but the Estate Cuvée is truly the top Cuvée. So voila, hopefully I will be able to meet you in person uh, where I will be able to talk to you a little bit more in depth about the story and the wine so you can come to the winery and see us uh, and see the vineyard in person. But until then, thank you so much for your support and uh, look forward to meeting you in the future. Thank you.